Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Pay off those credit cards except for one. Pay off those credit cards. Now, everything going on, let's just be real. I know some people are hoping for a V-shaped recovery in this uh, financial so far recession. Those are said so far recession, but it's not. Even if magically someone came up with a vaccine tomorrow, even if somebody came up with a vaccine tomorrow and could magically mass produce it enough and get it to everyone in the country, right? The economy still not going to come back like that. Because like, let's say hypothetically, and this is a tangent, but it's an important one. Hypothetically, they came up with some cure right away and they say, hey, everybody can open up right away. Okay. Um, actually, they can't. Okay, the businesses, the restaurants, in many places, they weren't at full capacity. It's not so much, you know, people ain't going to rush back out to them. They can't just hire back. They got to make the money first. Businesses got to make the money back and make enough money to open back up first. And a lot of businesses have closed. A lot of, they can't just open right back up. And then, you know, you got uh, manufacturing, everything. They can't just jump out and just start getting the stuff back out. And then people might, you know, the thing it come down to, people might, they might be like, oh, wait a minute. I don't know. I've been used to eating at home, so I ain't going back out to the restaurants and drinking at home. I ain't going back out to the bars. And I realize I don't have to buy a new pair of shoes every week. People ain't going to start spending money right away, even if they got it. Some people are going to be like, oh, hold up, let's wait, you know, for whatever reason. So it's not going to pop back up no matter what. And that's with a magic cure. So we see what's happening now. So it's going to be tough for a while. But to get back on the main thing, pay off those credit cards. You want to deal with that because if you got a bunch of credit cards, the thing is you got to pay them. And really, a lot of people might say, well, I'll just pay the minimum every month, which as a rule... Never pay just the minimum. Never just pay the minimum because you're going to realize, especially on those credit cards, they have interest on them. You'll look up and you're like, wait a minute, I paid the minimum, but I owe more than I owed six months ago. And I hadn't really used the card. You know, that's a, that's a little trick. They'll keep it rising. So what you want to do, if you're paying them off, you want to pay more. But you want to pay off the credit cards just because of everything going on now. You never know when you'll get hit with something. Or you never know when you're in a position where you can't deal with that bill. And that's even if everything was going well. You never know. You want to get rid of it, right? Get rid of as many credit cards. Except for one. Except for one. This is very important because unfortunately... Unfortunately, your credit rating goes up and down or your FICO goes up and down according to how you spend. They looking at, they actually want you to spend. So here's how you do that. You pay, you, it's a very simple thing. Pay off all your credit cards. What you do, you uh, pay off the uh, lowest balance first. Pay just enough on the other ones. Pay off the lowest balance first. Then once you pay that one off, then go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one, right? You know, that might take you a month to a year, maybe a couple years, however long it take you, right? Then when you get that final credit card, you get down to that final credit card. Well, you pay them off and you close them. Let me be very clear on that. You pay them off and you close them. Then when you down to that final credit card, right? That final credit card, you want to keep that open, and it should be like a major credit card, like a Visa, MasterCard, or Discover, right? You want to keep it, you want to go down to that level, right? Boom. This is what you do. <laughs> this is what you do, right? You pay that one, you, you pay off the balance on it, but you keep it open, right? You keep it open. And then once a month, spend money on it. Spend money. Don't get a major purchase or anything unless it's, a, it's like an emergency. Like you have to like use it, right? But the main thing it is is for emergency. But spend like $50 to $100. Maybe go out to dinner or something like that. 
you know, splurge, reward yourself, right? But only do so when you already have cash money to pay it off right away. Because what I do is I got one major credit card, got a, uh, got a high uh, credit limit on it too, all right? have a high credit limit, so I'll buy some or I'll pay something or, you know, if there's like a little slight emergency, I'll do it. But then as soon as the bill shows up, as soon as uh, they process it and everything, I pay it off as soon as possible. I pay it as like, boom. Do that once a month, though, like 50 to 100. Just spend on some little thing and then pay it off right away. In fact, I've known some people, uh, they'll have like department store credit cards and they'll uh, they'll be real slick with it, right? They'll buy some and then they'll buy some with the card because they'll get the discounts and deals and everything. And then once they finish that transaction, they'll pay it, they'll pay the bill right there. <laughs> they'll they'll put that same amount of money on the bill right there. Before it can like uh, gain credit or anything. Real slick way of doing it. But you always want to have it. And see, so you want to have that one because unfortunately in a lot of stuff, they looking at your credit. They looking at your credit and they trying to get an idea on how much money you spend and how you pay off your bills. They want to see some consistency. Even on, uh, if you look at credit reports and stuff, a big thing they look at is, okay, you got on-time uh, bills. You've, you've paid this on time for years. And they look at that, and that's part of it. And see, that's important when you have when you want to go for a big purchase, like a car. Unless you just happen to have enough money to buy a car for cash, when as you usually the average person, the only way they can get a car for cash is that they get one of those like a uh, few thousand dollar used cars. Which I wouldn't advise getting like those cars like that because when they're older. And, you know, there could be some problems. The only way I'd advise it is if you got a mechanic with you. In fact, a mechanic told me that. I'll never forget. He said, you go get one of those used cars, bring your mechanic with you. <laughs> if you're going to get one, have a mechanic you're real cool with, bring him with you. You know? So you take care of that right there, right? But otherwise, you know, usually get a car. You know, you got to have the credit. Make sure you have it, and they're they going to look at that. Or especially a house, Especially a house. I remember when I bought a condo uh, years ago. And I hadn't really been dealing with the credit part. You know. I actually had to open up a credit card. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Because they say they needed to see something. And seriously, they like that. So you keep that one credit. They see that you pay it. That's still reflected on your record. But you keep it just for emergency. Just for emergency. And just get small things and pay it off right away. All right. Very important in this time because you never know because trust me and I'll just be real with you. I've been in that position where the credit cards, everything was paid off good, but I had a lot of credit cards. But then some financial stuff hit me and I was jacked up. I was jacked up. I'm just now I say uh, about a few years ago, really fixing everything and everything good. You know, got the credit scores in the 700s now. So, you know, we're good now. But, you know. So anyway, pay off those credit cards except for one. And even that one, just buy little small things and pay it off right away. All right? So that's all I got, y'all. Peace and blessings.